Welcome to this tutorial on creating a collage, often called an abstract portrait. And what we're going to do is take a series of pictures and take pieces of them by cutting them out and pasting them into a document and creating an image of a person using multiple different photos. So you can do this with the same person or a couple different people or a bunch of different people. It just depends on what you're trying to accomplish. So I've got a whole bunch of pictures open, all of the same person, this guy again. And what I'm gonna do is create a new document. So the first thing I do is go File New. Now we're gonna use Pikas because we're copying all our photos into InDesign. And so I wanna have a document that will fit in relatively well. So I'm gonna go 30 in height by 50. And that will allow me the ability to shrink it down later on. We'll go to CMYK. Now I'm going to leave it at 72 pixels per square inch and have a transparent background. So it'll create a document that looks something like this. I can always change it later by cropping it or uh, changing the canvas size. So when I go look at these images and the image size, they're all in 72 pixels. So rather than changing everything, I'm just going to leave it as is and go from there. So I have a few different options here. I can use my marquee, select an area that I want, and it will select that area. Then I can go edit, copy, and I can go to my document, and I can go edit, paste, and it will paste it in there. Now it's really large because my picture is a lot bigger than my document here. So I can then go image, uh, sorry, edit and transform scale. I'm going to click on this link here so I don't distort it. And I'm going to shrink it down to something that's still big, but not quite the same size. I can click apply and I can move it around with my move tool and place it wherever I want. See, it's layer one here. So I've used that picture there. I'm gonna close it. I don't wanna save it, I wanna keep my original. And I'm gonna go to this one here. So uh, what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna crop it. So this tool here is called the crop tool. And what this gives me is the ability to cut out and place whatever it is I want in the picture. So I'm going to put this picture there on my other picture, the picture from the t-shirt. And instead of going to a different tool and then hitting apply, what I'm going to do is just click the check button here. And then I can go select all, edit copy, and then I go to my document here and I go edit paste. Now it's really big so what I'm going to do drag it down to the bottom and I can go let's go up to edit free transform or transform scale I'm going to link these two here and I'm going to drag it down to something a lot smaller and place it there. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. We'll kind of see how it goes, but we will. Oh, I got to hit enter. Well, after I hit transform, or I can click the check mark there, and then I'm just going to move this up a little bit. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or not, but we'll leave it there. You can always change it later. So you have two options. You can use the select tool or the crop tool. Now when I go back to this picture here. I don't want to save this because I want to keep the original picture so I can either undo by going to the history and going back to my original image or I can go back and forth in my history to wherever I want or I can simply just close it and hit no I don't want to save anything. Okay. Uh, so I've got another picture here so I'm going to use the select tool. And go edit copy might be a little easier to do it this way but it's up to you 
and go here and go edit paste and yikes I will edit transform scale and I will lock it and shrink it down to something that's manageable okay now very different shades and colors there that's fine uh, I'm just gonna accept that change and I'm done with that picture I might use that hair I've always wanted more hair huh. anyways I've kind of cropped these already so I'm gonna go select all edit copy and edit the paste edit transform now if I go transform again it'll automatically shrink it down the same as it did last time it has a memory there Okay, and then go to this next picture and control A for a select all, control C for copy, control V for paste, and edit transform again, drag it down. So I've got done with this one. Don't want to save it. Um, I don't have that one, so let's control A, control C, paste, and transform again. So I now have a whole bunch of pictures. So I've got some options here. And you can see I've got a bunch of different lighting here, which I could keep, because maybe that's what I want to do. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is create another layer and drag it down to the bottom. And that's going to end up being my background. I'll decide on a color later. So this is my, I'm going to rename them here, because it's a good idea. So left eye, nose, right eye hands and mouth just so I can keep track because the order will matter now I'm kind of thinking I might not want to use this at the moment but we'll see now what I want to try and do is line things up so this one is still fairly big so I'm actually going to shrink it down a little bit more and again you can just play around with it until you're happy with it so I'm going to shrink that down a little bit and move it down above and select and I want to try and line things up I'm going to move this down match that up and I'm going to keep it in behind. I'm going to move this one down, match that up, and move this one down. Hey, that kind of looks cool. Match that up. Okay, so now I can leave it like that, I suppose. But what I'm going to do is actually put a border around each one just to show some separation. So I can do... the same thing if I select all of these layers what I can do is go to layer style no I can't I lied so what I'm gonna do is go to layer style and I'm just gonna put a stroke I'm gonna keep it simple I'm gonna put a stroke around it I'm gonna put it on the inside and I'm gonna make it a really light color I'm going to try a light gray. Now that's a little big, so let's drag that down to... Sure, we'll go with 4. And click OK. Now if, you don't, if I don't like it, I can always change it later, but what I'm going to do is... I don't want that one. 
copy them all. So what I can do is I can create one layer style and then I can select all these layers. So what I did is I clicked and I shift clicked on the bottom layer. And now I can go to layer, layer style. Oh, I can't paste them all at the same time. I thought I could. So one at a time. Layer. Oh, you know what? I gotta copy it first, silly me. Layer, uh, layer style copy. Layer, layer style paste. So, what I need to now do is put a background color on. So I'm going to go to my paint bucket, put a background color in. I'm going to crop the whole thing. It's a little bit too much space there. And there I've got my Now, I, it's pretty good. I'm not quite sold on the gray. I could maybe try a different color. Maybe something a little lighter. Might be a little bit better. And then I can go down here. And... I remember to copy it. Always something. Um, see, yep, that's the lighter one. So layer, layer style, copy. Layer, layer style, paste. I like that better. Not quite sold on the green. So what I can do is again my eyedropper tool. I'm going to click on that blue there and I'm going to use that on my background layer so maybe it blends in a little bit more but I've got some separation there and there I have my portrait that is a collage or an abstract portrait the last thing I can do is if I don't really like the contrast in colors what I can do is go to that specific layer I don't think I'm going to keep that, so I can just hide it and then or delete that layer using the garbage can. But what I can do is if I don't like the look of it, I can adjust the levels. Something a little darker. I can adjust the brightness and contrast. And maybe this layer here, the left eye, a little bit too dark. So I'm going to image adjustment levels. And I'm going to drag that down as well. Okay, not exactly the same, which kind of adds to the effect. And this last one, just a little bit too dark. So I'm going to drag the levels up a bit. So it fits together a little bit better, but I still have some different shades there. Okay, and so there is my abstract portrait.